and welcome back to my channel thank you very much for watching my name is Sean please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos there's loads of different types of video on this channel and today I am reviewing the Smeg dishwasher this is a Smeg DF612 AEW model and it's from AO.com and the guys who delivered it were absolutely fantastic they texted me to let me know what sort of time they'll be arriving when they were here they fitted it absolutely no problem and they would have taken my old one away as well if I wanted. Obviously with running a busy B&B we rely on the dishwasher a lot to do our dishwashing for us. The dishwasher is suitable for 12 place settings which is perfect for a kind of small to medium sized household. It takes us roughly a day and a half to fill it if it's just me and my husband and the children. If it's the B&B then one lot of breakfast and it's completely full but it's still a really good size. It can take all of the breakfast plates for 10 people, which is pretty good going, because that's a lot of washing up. There's an eco setting which does the wash in 27 minutes, but one of my favorite things about this dishwasher is that it adjusts how much water it needs to use based on the size of the load within it, which I think is so clever and just so vital if you're wanting to kind of use less water or be a bit more environmentally friendly. I think that's a fantastic feature. It's an A-rated machine, so you know that it's not gonna be using too much energy throughout the year. And you also just know that it's gonna be using less water as well because it's gonna be adjusting based on the size of the load. For me, that's brilliant because it means I'll actually put on a load of just me and my children's stuff and not worry about the fact that I'm going to be wasting loads of water or that it's going to cost me as much as doing a full load because it's not the water cost is definitely going to be lower. So let's take a look at the machine. It's a very square design which is very kind of modern and sleek. There's a little handle just here to pull this down. When it opens up you can see there's a decent amount of space in there just in the process of loading it up at the moment comes with this cutlery basket which has individual spaces for all of the knives and forks but you can take this lid off if you're not particularly enjoying that. These parts at the top which can obviously drop down to hold glasses. I love that they're really close together. Um, one of the things we struggled with with our old dishwasher was that you couldn't put too many glasses in. So if you've had a party and you've got wine glasses or kind of Prosecco glasses you can put those in here. On this side there is an additional knife and fork space so you can put all of your knives on here or your forks and then this also pulls out so that you can put your teaspoons in here which I think is really really handy storage obviously you don't have to have this part pulled out but it does pull out on both of them and you can then use it for spoons it's also very easy to slot back into place and again there's plenty of room at the front to fit in all of your glasses and things if you want to move it then this part can also raise up and it still fits into the dishwasher. Inside the bottom of the dishwasher there is the filter which is easy to remove. Then over here there is the container for the salt. Built into the door we have the detergent dispenser which you just pop open and we also have the rinse aid dispenser which you just turn to the side to open. The rinse aid helps the dishes to dry faster and prevents the formulation of scaly deposits and staining. So the rinse aid is automatically added to the final rinse cycle from this part of the dishwasher. You can adjust the rinse aid depending on how hard your water is. So if your water is very hard you can obviously have it up to the maximum setting. If your water is very soft you can put it down to the lower setting. And you can do that simply by moving this little arrow inside. Top of the door tells you the different program cycles there are. To turn the machine on you simply press this button and hold it down. To select the different programs, you use this button over here. And if you want any of these settings to be the QuickTime version, then you simply press this QuickTime button as well. This is a program delay button, and you can delay the program by three, six, nine, or 12 hours. So you can set the dishwasher to work at your preferred time of day. This button here is the spread half load button and it's perfect for when you don't have many dishes to wash. It saves energy and it reduces the program duration. For this one you need to put the dishes and things in both baskets. You need to load less of the normal amount of detergent because obviously you're going to be cleaning fewer dishes. This button is the flexi tabs and this is specifically for washing if you've got combination detergent in tablets which have salt and rinse aid all in one. So you can press this button for that. When you want to start the machine, you simply press this button. 
We've had this dishwasher for nearly a week and in that time I've really put it through its paces. It's had small loads, it's had large B&B loads, it's basically had to tackle everything that I can throw at it so far. I've tried a few of the different program settings and they've all come out with really really nice clean and sparkly and shiny cutlery and glasses and I'm really impressed at the way that you can load things into this dishwasher. You really seem to be able to get lots and lots in. They've really thought about that in the design of it. So for us as a family it gets a massive thumbs up. We're really really enjoying using it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to then please subscribe and if you do subscribe make sure you click on the bell so you get a notification when I upload a video. But I will see you again soon. Alright bye. Oh, 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 oh,